Now, as I mentioned back in the introduction, the real power of the Mother 32 is that it is a semi-modular synthesizer. That means you can extend it either by repatching the way it's wired internally or connecting it to other modules. So let's focus on that for a while. Now you can leave the Mother 32 inside its own case with its own power and its own audio output and connect its patch bay using long patch cords into whatever other modules you have. But I'm the type of person who likes to have everything in one place. So let's take the Mother 32 out of its case and mount it into a Ural rack format modular case. To do that, definitely remove the power first, go ahead and remove the audio, and pull the MIDI. And then you'll need a screwdriver, such as this electric screwdriver, to get it out of its case. I'm going to undo. It's eight screws here in the corners. There we go. Bear with me while I do this, it shouldn't take too long. The Mother 32 happens to use a fairly standard Eurorack size 3 millimeter screw. You'll find a couple different sizes like 440 and a 2.5 millimeter. And indeed, the case that I'm moving this to, an old mono rocket case, uses 2.5 millimeter screws. So I cannot use the Mother's own screws to mount it back into this new case. I'm going to put these in a little bag, and set them aside inside the box the mother came in. Let's make sure this is centered so I don't scratch things up again. There we go. And then finally one more screw down here. Carefully lift it out. The Mother 32 uses what's called a sliding nut system. These individual nuts actually move along the rail inside the case. So if there comes a time when you want to put the mother back into its case, you're going to have to carefully align those nuts with the holes in the mother's front panel before you put it back together again. But we don't need to worry about that right now. I'm going to slowly flip up the mother's top and remove these two connectors from the back panel of the mother. This five pin connector and this two pin connector. We'll be using this power connector to connect the Mother 32 into its new Eurorack case. So let's go ahead and bring that case in and install the Mother 32 into it. Now that we've liberated our Mother 32 from its own case, we need to put it into a Eurorack format case. And there's a couple of things to look out for when you're choosing a case. One, make sure that it's deep enough to accommodate all of the modules that you intend to add to it later on. Now this is what's called a skiff for a very shallow case. So I'm going to measure my finger here and you can see how deep it is. Not very deep at all. This is designed so it can lay flat on a table in front of other equipment if necessary. Fortunately, the Mother 32 has been made what's called skiff friendly. It is very shallow, so it has no trouble fitting into the depth of this case. The other issue to watch out for is power supply. You want to make sure you have enough power to power up not just the Mother 32, but all of the other modules you intend to add to this case. And you need a margin of error, at least 20 to 30%. So a good idea is to go to a place like Modular Grid, mock up the system that you're intending, look at the power requirements for that system, and make sure that that number is only about 70 to 80% of the power supply that comes with a case that you're looking at. Now cases might have power supplies built in, like this mono rocket case, or they may be add-on modules like this 4MS row power. Once you know that your case is going to be sufficiently large and powerful enough to power up the Mother 32 and all the modules you're planning on getting, now comes time to mount the Mother 32 into the case. Now, one thing to watch out for with all Eurorack modules is that they are very sensitive to how power is connected. You need to watch out for the red stripe. The red stripe is the negative connection for the power supply. If you get the connector backwards, you might connect positive to negative and you might blow out some modules. Now, fortunately, the Mother 32 is very well marked as to where that stripe is supposed to be. And secondly, it is actually protected so that if you plug it in backwards, you won't kill the Mother 32. That's not the case with all modules, so this is definitely a case of measure twice, cut once. So the Mother's telling me that I need this red stripe on the downward side of the board. I'll line up the red stripe on my ribbon cable. This is a 10 to 16 pin cable. All Eurorack standard power supplies need a 16 pin connector to connect to the power inside your cabinet. 
The mother only requires a 10 pin on the other end because it does not require extra voltages like five volts. So I'm gonna line up the red stripe to the red stripe in the circuit board and plug this end into the mother 32. Now I need to do the same thing on the case side. So I need to line up the red stripe with the stripe indicator for each power supply connector in my case. So there's my red stripe. I've lined it up to the pins inside the power supply and we're gonna connect it like that. Finally, I need to bolt or screw the mother into the Euro rack case. Again, this particular case uses something that's called a sliding nut system, where you need to position each nut to line up to the holes in the module that you're planning on putting into that case. Some other systems have what's called threaded inserts, where they have a bar in here that's already been pre-drilled to certain locations. The sliding nut system is popular for those who might want to get modules that do not have proper hole patterns but they can be a bit fiddly. For example, I need to carefully hold the Mother 32 underneath here and line up these individual nuts with the holes in the Mother 32. And then, I do it on the bottom as well. One goes down here, one lines up down here, one lines up down here, and the last one lines up down about here. After you have that lined up, then you need to screw it into the case to hold it into position. Now there's different types of screws you can use for this mounting. Many use standard Phillips head screwdrivers, but as you saw earlier in the movie, it's easy for a Phillips screwdriver to accidentally slip and maybe cause you to scratch the front panel of your modules. I like to use what are called hex head nuts. They require a special hex head driver, but once you line up the driver to the hex head, they're much easier to handle. The screw doesn't fall off. You have a nice self-centering. It's harder to accidentally slip. I prefer this mounting system. Now, I'm not gonna make you sit here while I screw in eight different bolts to mount the mother into the case. But in the next movie, I'm gonna show you how to start patching the Mother 32, including the all important issue of how do you get sound out of it?